Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we are hopping in and talking some tips and tricks for you guys to be able to go through and kill the Praying Mantis boss in Grounded a little bit easier. And no, I'm not talking about the climb up on the tree and cheese the boss thing. No, I'm actually talking about what's not going to get fixed in the game and an easy way for you guys to be able to do more damage in the game to the Praying Mantis and not die as easily. So let's start off with what I'm going to have for gear here. First of all, you should have the Club of the Mother Demon either Mighty or Salty. Preferably Salty because the Praying Mantis is actually weak to salt damage. See, it's its only weakness is salt damage. And seeing how the Club of the Mother Demon is generic damage, it helps do more damage to, the, to her because she's not resistant to it. I have Thor's Pendant because it gives you a bunch of extra bonuses. Roly Poly Helmet, you get this by killing Roly Polies. This one is set to uh, Sleek for block strength and block stun, and the other two are set to bulky for the additional defense and resistances. So that is why those are set up that way. What else are you going to need in order to be able to do this? Guys, this one's also going to take a couple of other items. It's going to take a liquid rage, and it's going to take a fungus spatio. Why both of these? Liquid Rage is going to up your damage, which the more damage you can do per swing, the better when it comes to fighting a large boss like this. And second of all, the Fungus Spacho is going to half the amount of uh, stamina required in order to swing your weapons, allowing you to swing that many more times. Now, let's talk perks, and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about with fighting the Praying Mantis. So, perks first, I have Parry Master on because it allows you to help you parry more. Meat shield, because you're going to want max health, you're going to need more health because this thing does hit really hard. Buff lungs. Buff lungs is to increase your stamina. This one will be swapped out after you kill the um, the mantis one time. Coup de grass, so that way you can get those criticals in. And then spicy safety, because it's stabbing and smashing resist, and it has a devastating smashing attack, which is why I put this on. Okay, so let's talk about after you kill her. After you've killed her, you're going to unlock Apex Predator, which is this one that's right here. This is going to add poison damage to your weapon, so it's going to be a benefit for you to be able to go through and fight her and be able to poison her at the same time. I'm actually going to show you what I mean by if you can beat her, how to get it, and then if I, we'll, we'll go through and show you guys the other one in another time. But first of all, let's go over here and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I need to go grab my Mantis Orchid Kebab. Okay guys, so here we are now inside of the Mantis Cave, and now we're going to give this a try. I've gone ahead and eaten my food and drinking my smoothie, so now it is time to go on and face the Orchid boss. Now I know that this one is a little broken for our Xbox friends right now. Don't worry, they're working on a patch already to make it so the gas that it's letting off does not go ahead and uh, crash your game. Now if you see the amount of damage that I'm doing per hit right now, it is actually insane the amount of damage you could do with this build like this. Go ahead and get myself a little bit of heals here. Thankfully, I have the well-fed bonus. So that way, I'm getting extra health back. And now I've already stunned the Mantis, just like that. And thanks to the Fungus Spacho, I'm able to go through and get a couple more hits in before it wakes up. All right, we're going to get another couple smacks in here if I can. There we go. We've, whoop, perfect block that one. Whoop, and just like that, I died. But as you guys can see, if you focus on getting health, I wanted to show off the amount of damage that you can do and that this boss actually is a lot easier with this upgraded build. Now, my weapon is not even fully upgraded yet. My Club of the Mother Demon isn't even fully upgraded. And if you were to go through and put on Salty onto it, you'll do even more damage to her every swing. So it really makes this boss that much easier. Now, I know I've died in here for you guys, but you guys can saw how close I was actually able to get. And if I would have focused on healing myself instead of getting excited and doing damage, I probably would have won. Now, that's another tip for you guys, and that is don't get so excited just to keep swinging. Take it in turns. Slow down. The Mantis hits really hard. You want to focus on getting away from it. Whenever it stands up and puts its arms up like this and then 
slams them down, run to the side, okay? Because that's going to help you not get damaged. Also, if it starts turning its head like this and it's just kind of standing up, it's about to do a three slam attack. Also run to the side as well. And with those tips, it should help you guys be able to take down the praying mantis that much easier, no matter what game mode you are playing in. But thank you guys all so much for watching this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.